Yo, right lads, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft 1.16.4 spigot server. Uh, so let's get straight into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into the link in the description and download the spigot Minecraft jar. You can see I've already downloaded it. And then you want to go ahead and move the jar file into your like a different directory. Once you've done that, go ahead and run the jar file. Once it's done, uh, you see a eula.txt, you're going to go ahead and open that and change it from false to true. It's just accepting the eula, everyone does it. Uh, and then you'll be able to make the batch file, which we'll do in a minute. And then you're going to want to go to the description and copy the batch command line and paste that into the run.txt. This just tells the server how much RAM allocation it needs and what jar file to run. So you can see me pasting it in now. Uh, and then I'm changing the jar file name to the same in the text document as it is on the jar. It's just directing to the right jar file. Spigot 1.60.4, just the same name. As long as it's got the same name, everything will run fine. Now I'm changing the that number there to 6G, which means gigabytes of RAM. That's RAM allocation. Basically, I would recommend setting this to 4G uh, unless you have a really low end system that's about 4 gigs of RAM, but can't have to go too much into that because I don't have enough time. Uh, so then you're going to want file, save as, and make sure you click all files instead of just text documents and save it as a bat, a dot bat, as a batch file. Then you can delete the original text document and the server will run. For some reason, with the new spigot files, it takes 20 seconds. You gotta wait 20 seconds. Mine took a long time here for some reason. I had to press a key for it to actually boot initially. So bear in mind if yours doesn't run straight away, you might have to press a key. Now the server files will begin to generate. This can take some time. Uh, it only took mine 15 seconds, so just bear in mind it might take longer. Okay, and now it's done, you're just going to want to type stop into the command prompt, or you can just close it at the top there, I just type in stop because it saves everything, but at this early stage it doesn't really matter, and then you want to go ahead and open a command prompt, and type in ipconfig, this shows you your ipv4 address, which is all we're going to need to use, um, which is basically just your IP, so people can connect to the server. And then once you've done that, open up your server.properties and paste it in to where it says server IP. Just paste it in and then save that text file. And then after you've done all that, just open the run.bat once more time. And uh, yeah, that's it. You should have your server up and running. It will work join using your IP followed by your port, the port is 24565, the default Minecraft port, and um, yeah that's the video, I can make another video on that about how to port forward so your friends can join, but um, I'm just going to assume that you already know how to port forward and have done so, um, but if you don't, uh, I, I cannot release a video where you port forward without using your internet panel because the gateway is simply required. I know a lot of people are scared of the whole port forwarding thing, but it is necessary. Anyway, now connecting, as you can see, now when it loads its rain, we are going to be in Minecraft 16.4, 1.16.4 with all the, you know, the, the, the spigot widgets, you know, TPS to see your ticks per second and, you know, all the good stuff. So that's the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.